wait on a few people to get in here before I open that bad boy up. The mirror is everything crooked. Hope everybody's doing well. Just got home and I was looking around and cleaning up my room. I was like, I haven't showed this yet. So let's do it as soon as a few people get in. If anybody comes, I'll just make a video, right? Raining here in North Carolina. <sighs> I need to spray today. Paint a color. Hey, I got one person in here. How about that? <laughs> Hope everyone's doing well. Just figured I'd go live. Have a... Jody Sims, how are you doing? Yes, good timing indeed. Welcome. I haven't been live in a while, and I really don't do lives, but I figured I'd do it this time just because. Wait on another one or two people to get in here, maybe. Or it might just be me and you. How are you doing today? Raining here. Wasn't supposed to rain till tomorrow. But anyhow, I got this. Well, my wife got it for me. It's a lunch pail. Lunch box, however you want to look at it. At the indoor flea market that we go to. You just got back from a car show. Sweet, I love a good car show. And the price on it was 25 I think it was. We got it a few months back. I actually did a video on it showing some of the cars in the store. But uh, all those booths have sales every once in a while. So I think she got it for like $20 for me. So I figured I, I, I did an unboxing video on it. And I actually lost the footage. So I know what I was in here. But you guys don't. So I figured I'd show it. But it looks like it's just going to be me and you, Jody. Which is fine with me, brother. So let's get on with it. There's a bunch of Chinese cars in here. There's a little out of shape, out of proportion, weird looking cars, but they can be used, and I'll talk about it as we go. Andre, how you doing, brother? Remember that video I thought you'd show them already? I know, I know, I did, I, I recorded the, the footage, and then, like a fart in the wind, it was gone. Yeah, so let's get started. There's, like I said, there's a lot of Chinese cars, just like this one, right? But, I mean, come on, if you're looking for something, like a, there's a, uh, Tell you what, before we really get started, guess how many cards is in this thing? Just guess. I don't remember. I'll count them as I put them back in. Or you can count as we go. But how many got how many cards do you think is in this lunch box? I'll wait on a guess or two and then we'll move on. Some made in China cards are nice to remake. Yes, Andre, 52, okay. I mean just think. That could make, be made into a killer gas land. And like I said, I bought, my wife bought this whole thing for $20, I believe. So, $45, all right. So there's one. And I'm not going to count. I'm, I'm, I'll count them as I put them back. Now, you all know my wife has chickens and everything. I recently made her some chicken trucks. But this one was in there. This is one of the ones that I saw during the in-store look at the cars to see if there was enough in there to justify me getting it. And most of them are screwed together. Yeah, yeah. This is a matchbox from 2003. So if she doesn't want this, I could paint this up. I can put the old man logo on there and have me a big ride around town delivery truck. And there's a few spare parts in here too. You know what this is. This is that Dollar Tree ambulance. So might be the rest of it in here. Next up. Matchbox, 600 SEL, with opening doors, not all beat to crap, which most of these cars aren't. I mean, most of these cars are in excellent shape. Repaint that bad boy, turn it over so you can see it. Yes, sir, Andre, it is nice. I got it upside down again, didn't I? There we go. I mean, it's played with, but it's not in awful shape. You polish the windshield, repaint it. Make it anything you want. Next up, and I love these trucks. I absolutely love them. So now you know it's a truck. Let me tell you why. When I grew up, I grew up watching the 
Truck Driver Shows, BJ and the Bear, Smokey and the Bandit, uh, CJ McCoy, all those shows. And Mr. Cecil, Cecil's Diecast, recently helped me get this. He had it, and we worked out a deal. Well, the, and I am tickled to have that. But there's one more that I really, really want, and it's the BJ and the Bear one. It's a Hot Wheels. As long as glass is okay, we can make them. Yes, we can. I really want that BJ and the Bear so bad, but I love any of the trucks. Mr. Mustang Hunter sent me the Cheerios car, uh, truck. But anyhow, we had to spam. Again, not beat all the crap. There's a little bit of paint chipping here and there on this particular one. A little bit of discolorized plastic. But that's okay. We can deal with that. That right there was one of the ones that made that. And this one was the start of making this whole lunchbox worth buying. The only thing that made that better is if it was wider, right? There happens to be two of them in there. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I love those trucks. I love any of the, the big over-the-road trucks. Cause like I said, when I was growing up, my thing was I grew up on those trucking shows, so I wanted to be a truck driver. Long haul. That way I get to see the country and work, too. But with that stated, I got married before... That happens. <laughs> so, it's all good. Well, here's one of those weird Chinese cars. Spam for life. Yeah. Fry it up. Put it in between two pieces of bread. This is one of those weird Chinese cars. I don't know what it is. Kind of reminds me of the semi where hardest casting. Yeah, yes. When you look at the proportions on that and the wheels, the wheel wells, it's like, what were they thinking? <laughs> JP, how you doing, brother? As you can see, made in China. Diecast clown. Go lay on your side. <laughs> but there's a lot of those in there. A lot of those little Chinese cars. I'll move through this as quick as I can. Next up is a vintage Leslie. This is from... Well, I'll say vintage. 1978, it looks like. The Ford Escort. Ford Escort Rally S2000. Tampos are in very good shape. A little bit of wear on the top, but that's okay. But guess what? This one still has the trailer hitch. Most any vintage matchbox you find does not have the trailer hitch still on it. That is absolutely amazing. This is another one of the Chinese. Diecast Clown, thank you so very much, brother. I hope all is well with you, too. Got a bunch of that. Do you? <laughs> the... The Escort Rally. This was this is another one of Chinese cars, but just imagine when I show you this car with a wheel swap. Resembles a 240SX. <laughs> Rico Bobby. Rico. But the funny thing about these Chinese versions, they didn't even put interior, I mean, dashes in them. Look at that. You can see all the way through. Eddie, how you doing, brother? Welcome. They got the seats, but that's all that's there. Now this one, I'm pretty certain it had a hood. I can see, if I look at it through the engine bay, I can see two places where it looks like there was an engine. I'm have, I mean, hood, I'm going to have to look and see. But I love any American road racing car. Any. And this is no difference, even though it's a Ford. <laughs> Look at that bad boy. Needs to be cleaned up a little bit. She's a little dusty. But that's okay. Again, not all beat up. Not all beat up at all. Yes, sir. Very old school. There you go. There you go. Hey, Tony. Welcome. How you doing? So that was another one of the ones that justified the, the price of the the uh, lunch pad. Again, here's another one of those 240s. Well, I don't know. One second it looks like a 240 and one second it looks like a DAC gum RX-7. I'll let you guys be the judge. Yes, I bet so. But again, wheel swap and this makes it a totally different car. Totally different. 
Just go and reach in here and grab one. Now this would make a killer gas lamp. You think it's a RX-7? Very possible. It does have those lines. It definitely does. And it has the hood scoop like the RX-7. So it very possibly is. Now this would make a killer gas lamp. I mean just killer. Because all it needs is a cattle catcher on the front and a machine gun on the back. Northern Ohio diecast. Story on. Welcome to the stream, brother. It's been a while since I did one. Rudy Moons, how you doing? Pete and Shell. Can't wait to, uh, I can't wait to see it. Yes, it does. We'll put a cattle catcher on the front of that and a machine gun mounted up there. Oh, my goodness. Old Tonka bulldozer. You never know what you're going to get in these little cases. Try to move through here. Uh, this, I need to send this one to Derek. There's quite a few of them in here, actually. Because, like I said, I've already unboxed this one time. Yeah, McDonald's toy trunk Tonka. Wayne, how you doing, brother? But I bet he doesn't have this Porsche. <laughs> he thinks he's got them all, but I bet he doesn't have that one. Again, no dash, as you can see all the way through right there, but it does have the seats. Throw a different set of wheels on there. Again, made in China. Cheap as they come. Wife found an M257 Mac model. Yeah, raw, wow. Congrats. That is a, a beautiful Porsche, and I love the color and everything. I'm actually working on Derek's Christmas build. I ha I've, I've had to strip it three times now. You got me? Ah, Northern Ohio. No, it doesn't have a name on the bottom of it. It just says China. Made in China, number... Is that a three or a nine? Number 811. So maybe you can look it up by that. Made in China, number 811. Beyond me, it's all good. But anyhow, I painted it. I'm doing two color Yacht Ming's built better. <laughs> I, that's what I was thinking too, but uh, painted it. Went to take the tape off to do the second color. Yeah, the wheels got you. And it pulled some of the paint off. So then I re stripped it, changed the paint method, got both colors. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it was fine. Put decals on. As soon as I took the decals off the paper and put them on, the, the white. A lot of the white on the decals was missing, so then I had to strip it again. I've had to strip that car three times now. But anyhow, long story short, got more decals coming, and I'm going to finish it this week. I was going to spray it today, but it's raining. But anyhow, I'm long story short, I'm thinking about sending him some of those these. Just so he has something to play with, and he's like, what in the world? Has something to look at. But anyhow, next up is another one of those Chinese cars. Number 1608, made in China. But it's a fire brigade Jeep. I'm trying to get focus. There we go. Yes, it is. Especially when I was that close. I mean, I've been clear coated the car, done got the decals on it and everything. And all I had left was to clear coat the decal when I was done with the car, but it's all good. He took a break to do his RC racing and everything. He said he said that he has so much going on. That he just needed some time. He said he'd be back. He just didn't know when. Yes. One scratch. Alright. Another one of those Chinese. But this is a Save the Earth. It's made in China. Number 2300. Try and turn it where you can see it. There we go. Just in case y'all want to look them up or whatever, you know, never know. This one is also, this one's made in McCall, believe it or not. And I like this little booger just as the way as it is. Wade, how you doing, brother? I mean, I know it's nothing special or anything, but I like it the way it is. Take the garbage truck, yes. Yeah. Can take the top off I so choose. As you can see, it's just right there and it's got two little tabs on the back. Next up is another Matchbox Super Fast from 1976. Yes, it is. Brass era, absolutely. Those old cars are always nice regardless. Yes, absolutely. Here's one for you, Andre. It's a Ford and it's a Station wagon. <laughs> Watching football. 
This sticker is all, almost perfect shape. Almost. Bin wagon. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just like y'all call your restrooms over there the Lou, so. <laughs> or Lou, however you want to say it. All right. What in the world is this? This is a Chinese version of the Ford Expedition, Mr. Andre. Number 6021. Looks like a Ute. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now that's going up there in my Benny's box up there. I'm going to try to get the other one that Mr. Brummett got. He recently picked up one. I'm going to try to talk him out of it. That way I can have two. But then I'll still have one without a handle. Isn't that right, Andre? <laughs> Here you go, Andre. Here's your one. Here's your whip. Put a wheel swap on that bad boy. Like, actually, not bad. No, it's an expedition. Believe it or not, it says it right, right there, right where my top finger is. Ford Expedition. <laughs> All right, one of those track famous cars. What do they call that? The turbulence? Something like that. Well, what I like about it, I mean, they make these cars for kids, you know, to go down the track, have fun and everything. Not us collectors. <laughs> yes, me too, Eddie. I love the older stuff. But what I really like about this one is there's so much stuff that I can use. Metal base, but that's not what I'm talking about. The rear jet engines are metal also. Yeah, I don't know what the name of it is. It might be right. And then you have the plastic engine up front too that I could take out and use. So that will definitely go in my junkyard box for parts robbing. Yeah. And here's another one of those Chinese. All it says is made in China. There's no number on this one at all. But another one of those I bet Mr. Honest diecast as I have. It's a power rocket. Okay. I'll take your word for it. Made in China. <laughs> I bet he ain't got that one. I bet he ain't got the blue one either. <laughs> like I said, you know, just never know. Never, never nine. Well, I think I'm on nine, nine, five, nine and a half. I have nothing wrong with that. Pete and Shell, that's what makes it fun, right? What's the use of having them if you can't touch them, hold them, look at them, run them across the table, track whatever you so choose? All right, this is a, another made in China. It's the Nissan 300. What's that say? 300. ZX. I mean, okay, it's got the tops. What's up, Jesse? How you doing, brother? It's got the T-tops. It has the 300 rear end. It has the 300 front end, but, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, I did a video and I was sitting here fixing to do another video. I was like, let me go live. I haven't been live in a minute, so. Right, next up is another Maisto Tonka 2000 High Hasbro. Maybe this is more your style there, Andre. Ford Escape. Like I said, none of these cars are in very bad shape at all. They're 20 bucks. I mean, this I guarantee there's already more than 20 cars there already. <laughs> Here you go, Andre, for your delivery service. <laughs> this become a hassle with Eddie. Yeah, I like escapes. It's not in my driveway. Yeah. I mean, you can haul those four kids back and forth to school and deliver food and everything and that and got free advertising on the side of it. <laughs>
Oops, sorry. This one, mmm. Made in China. Number 318. Oh, I'm sorry. 818. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I don't know what this bad boy is supposed to be. Oh, it, it was about drop is what it was. <laughs> That's definitely an 80s paint job there, isn't it? Mm. <clears throat> I agree. That pop van is pretty cool. You never know what's in these things. and You know, it's just, it's, it's fun and exciting. You think it's a Honda Civic? I'll let, I'll let y'all be the judge of that. <clears throat> All right, I'll take y'all's word. Used under license, 1990 CK pickup. I don't know what that is. Sweet truck, though. Heck yeah. All right, let's grab another one. That... Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, look what's in here. Another one of those that made the whole lunchbox worth 20 bucks. This is one of those flip over cars. Flip this over backwards, ram it into something, and it flipped the car over. Yep, popo, capo. In relatively good shape to be as old as this. Which country, which county in the U.S. are uh, Union? What year does this say this to me? 1986. Crack ups, okay. Like I said, that's that, that, the two trucks, and the two older Matchbox made this well worth it. And we're not even close to being done, y'all. Let me show you. Not even close. Sorry for making you dizzy. <laughs> so Andre and Jody, I think the the 50 and under are off. <laughs> Just a guesstimate. But here's another one. This is another matchbox. No, this is a Ertl. I'm sorry. Porsche 930 Turbo. Did I guarantee you? Yes, right? Did I guarantee you that Mr. Honest doesn't have. It is a ton of cars, JP, for 20 bucks. Heck yeah. You, um, for the DDOG? No, because it has to be new. Yes, Tony, it's sweet, isn't it? Yeah, they have to be new to donate them to any of the local places, like the fire departments or any charities like that or anything. So, no, I won't be donating those. This just says Main China. Like Legos, there's no substitute. But yeah. Main China. Yeah, Tony, I, I can't donate open toys. They won't take them. Mr. Charles Dykast said he's going to send me a trailer. I bet that trailer would fit this one better than the, the smaller ones. Eh, I told him not to worry about it. Don't, you know. Shipping so high. Yes, it is. Shipping is so high and everything right now. Gas and whatnot. I like that one a lot. And I'm not showing you this to brag and, and say, oh, look what I got. No, I'm just, I've actually gotten people with Contact me on Instagram. I want to know what I, what was in the lunchbox. So I'm not ignoring the chat. I'm just trying to read the bottoms. Made in China. D87 is all it says. Looks like an alley, doesn't it? Shipping one up. Yes. Again, this looks deformed because of those little wheels. But imagine that with a wheel swap. That'd be a sweet car. Audi Quattro, yep. 
All right, you guys seem to know all the cars right off the top of your head. Tell me what this one is. Another one of those Chinese cars. 680 in California, holy moly. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think that one is? For a client, Nissan, okay. Nissan Silvi, very possibly. I'll take you guys' word for it. And I remember when I started this, most of you weren't here when I started this, but with that skyline, maybe. Hi Cecil, welcome to the live, brother. Yeah, whoa is right. <laughs> I'm going to say it's a Porsche, but I'm not too certain. Look how small those wheels are for those wheel wheels. Oh, my God. All right, keep moving. Made in China. We all know this is a Mercedes. Yes, bins, definitely in bins. <laughs> I could just put this on for the painted pink challenge and it's already pink. <laughs> Spoiler's got a little bit of bow to it. I don't know if it's bow to or not. It is. It really is. It just needs a wheel swap. Keep going. There's another one of those. Well, like I said, there's several of those in here. This one has a little bit of damage to it, unfortunately. And I think this is the worst one. I think there's another one here. Not quite as bad, but anyhow. I'm going to try to straighten it out, but I know it's going to break it. I know it right off the top. One of those out of whack ones. Don't ask me. Yes, I definitely am. Dynamic, aerodynamic little cars, but woo. I need to just put them in, yes, I need to just put them in bags and drop them off in mailboxes in neighborhoods. <laughs> I, I see children's play sets and stuff in the back wheels. <laughs> I don't know, Rico. I don't know, brother. Well, uh, used under license made in China in 2004 Land Rover Discovery. I'm trying to move through them a little bit faster. I bet even the, I got one here, I bet even the, uh, yeah. I bet even the old Mustang Hunter doesn't have. <laughs> Again, it's Maisto. Made for Tonka. Yes, it is a nice orange. Very bright, vibrant orange. <laughs> Alright, let me grab another one. Another Maestro. We all know what this is. Chevy Avalanche. Andre, there's you some bling for your lowriders, brother. <laughs> Uh-oh. Here we go. Yeah, donk. Yeah. I actually have one of these back there on the shelf that Mr. Brummett sent me. This one has been loved, but that's okay. The Colt Seavers 
Fall Guy truck says Colt right there. Barely make it out. He can't make it out on this side. Chrome in the back needs to be redone. Yeah, there we go. I made, since I've got the one back there to Mr. Dr Brummett. Yes, Fall Guy. Love that show. And Mr. Brummett sent me. I may take this one apart and re-chrome it. And just leave the side decals the way they are. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Put them on a Impala. Alright, let's keep moving. Another one of those funky... I have no idea what... I... 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 <laughs> Another one in red. This one is very laid back, so I'm assuming that it might have got mashed just a smidge. I'm not exactly sure. See how laid back the windshield? Yeah. Faux Rory. Yeah. Made in China. <clears throat> About dropped it. Yeah. I hear you, Jay. <sighs> when I started seeing these cars come up, I was like, what? 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 There's no way they can go down the track or anything. But anyhow, have Starsky and his car somewhere. Sweet. Love me some Starsky and I got all their seasons on DVD. But I was like, what in the world would they think of these little things? Metal base. Oh, you're more than welcome, Tony. Here's another one that would make a, a great... This is a matchbox. Make a great gas lens build because it's missing something. I don't know exactly what it's missing. But yeah. I'm assuming it's probably missing some kind of antenna array or something on the back of it. Don't know. What in the world? Here's your Ford Explorer, Andre. Number 608. One, it looks like. <laughs> That's you all day long. Another Maestro. The Chevrolet SSR. Nobody makes a decent, no, yeah. Just like this. Ugh. Tonka likes their bright colors, don't they? That one needs to be painted black and some cool rims put on it. These Chinese cars, I'm just going to show them to you. Rather than trying to figure out what they are and everything. Made in China. Another one to make a great gas lens because it's missing part. Audi S2. Yes, Andrea, I do. It's a thousand parts when you take it apart. The headlights are riveted. The bumpers are riveted. The grills are riveted. Well, I, sh I shouldn't say riveted. They're plastic stuck to a hole with glue on. I'll make another gas lens bill. Look at that bad boy. If I was in the gas lens, that is. I wonder if this is the 
support it. Freaking cab goes on. Yep, that's it. All right. <laughs> Call now one more. This looks like what a 924 or 928. Let you guys be the judge. Man, that one is rough painted. Look at the casting, 928. Look at the casting lines on that bad boy. Oof. <laughs> Another Easter core. This one is a matchbox. It's a VW delivery van for Easter. Is that rabbit taking a, a break in the woods or something? <laughs> What's up, Eddie? Yeah, it's hard to go wrong with the VW. All right, more Chinese cars. Ooh. The game is very complicated. There's a lot of moves and stuff in it. I've looked into it and never wanted to play it. <clears throat> Just saying. You know, laying an egg, that's what he's doing. Now that one definitely looks like a BMW. Look at the front end. Yeah, that's how Easter eggs are made. Okay. You say so. Yep. Blows up. I bet you do. Now this one I'll actually keep just as is, just because of what it is. Every time I see one of those, I can hear the Knight Rider theme song going off in my head. Yep, Firebird. Oh, I found a sister. Oh, sorry. There's the brother. There's the sister. <laughs> Have you guys been having any luck finding anything out there in crazy land? I sure have it. Flying Engine 36. Now this is a yacht mean. Says it on the bottom, that's how I know. Yeah, upside down. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Column quarter tree. But again, parts for gas lines, right? Another one of those Ferraris. How you doing, Pat? Welcome. It says GTO on it. Okay. PK Target, red show last week. Wow. Oh, no, it didn't. Dang it, Rico. Adam Ward, how you doing? I'm sorry about that, brother. 308? Yeah. Magnum P.I.? <laughs> I hate that, man. You pay the money and wait and wait and wait, and then you get it and screwed up. This has got to be the worst one out of the pack. Wheels are a little jacked up. See the post has been on the front. No idea what it is. Ah, cool, Rico. I'm glad. 
Testarosta. Like I said, these cars are cheap. I seen that. Congrats. And it had to be a Camaro, didn't it? I mean, think just ready to sell. Yep. Pretty cool there. Another one I bet Mr. Honest Diecast doesn't have. Hello, Ronnie. How you doing, brother? Another maiden channel one. I think, yeah, uh, everybody was off on their guesses. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Got a Camaro. We have a toy shop and older indoor market closes. Sweet. I like to see that. Oh, wow. You found a super treasure hunt Lambo. Congrats. No, Rodney, you have to go back and watch the beginning and see exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> but since you mentioned a the Camaro, there's one. Just pulled it out. Yeah, I got to get that Supra. I'm going to make the um, Fast and the Furious car out of it. This one has to go up there on the wall. I guess that's supposed to be a Corvette. Wow, 41 minutes. That's why I'm trying to move it along. Another one of those brass era cars. Doesn't have the top, but I see a piece of it right there. Now, there's the top. No, that's the trailer. I don't know. Yeah, another one of those brass era cars. You can see this one looks like it's been broken. Yeah, it has. That's okay. Thanks, Eddie. There's part of it. Headlights goes on. That's all right. Another one of those Chinese cars. WW Rec Replicas. Welcome, Jeff. They do have some cool colors. But I don't know what most of it means. All right, Matchbox. It's like 99 Mustang. <laughs> there you go, Rodney. Yeah, I could make Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. They actually have a version of that out now. I've seen it. At the indoor flea market, I was like, what the heck? So I was like, I haven't seen those before. So I looked it up, and they're, they were overpriced on it. Chinese Honda. Uh-oh. One that's not Chinese Maisto. Plymouth Hemicuda. Another Tonka. I love the color and the tampos on this. Yeah, I agree. Ha ha Honda. <laughs> It's actually a cool casting. I like that. I like that better than I did the Hot Wheels version, to be honest with you. Uh, let's see. What in the heck? All I'm going to say is made in China and it's a Mercedes. Heck, no, I haven't found any red editions. You like orange cars? No, I didn't know that. Let's 
There's another one of those red ones. Yeah, I seen Pat found one of those. I was like, dang it. <sighs> Ooh, a Z. Chevy steps out, Hong Kong. If you don't know, Z, man Z manufactures die-cast cars. Get out there, boy. I wonder what went in those two holes. Chris Davis, welcome. How you doing? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Hmm. Leave that last. Oh, my goodness. Andre. Maybe a camper? Yeah, it might be. Very could well be. But I don't have a camper in here, so I don't know. Andre. <laughs> yes, that is a sweet Z. Most people don't know that Z makes them. Uh, Z and Kenner. They both make die cast. The interior on that one. That interior is sharp. Boom bug. <laughs> Another one is earlier 90 CK pickups. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Does anybody know what that is? At first it looks like the Boy Scout logo in the middle, but in the middle of a star? Hmm. Oh, do you, Rico? Cool. Kenner, Dayton, Ohio. All right. I bet she would. I'll put it over to the side for the other ones I got coming your way. You know which ones I'm talking about. Another one of those. We're almost there, guys. Like we got, might have about 15, 20 more to go. Another one of those little sport cars. Lord live. What is that? I have no idea. I barely speak English and I screw it up. Don't know the meaning behind it though? Okay. <laughs> That's where it was made about 40 miles. Okay, sweet. Uh, don't tell her. Okay. Well, I figured it was something not American. Like I said, I can't even hardly, I screw it up. There's the brother to the black one. Yeah, enough said. There's the brother to it. Uh, another Mercedes. Ooh. Who thinks this stuff up? Hey, here's the car. Something sticking off of it. I guess because of the color. Another Mercedes. Ah, there's the top to that other one. Now this one's got a little bend to it too. Mustang GT. Looks like an 80 something model. Really? I don't think that's part of the aerodynamic package. Chitty chitty. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, that's cute. I swear this reminds me of the Pantera. I don't know, I guess it's because of that back, but I know it's not, but it just reminds me of it.
sport racer? You say so. Get my ugly mug out. Uh, yes and no. He's doing a lot of sleeping, but he's still scratching a lot. Thanks for asking now. Uh-uh. Taxi for hire. Yeah, he's... He's doing his best, but... He's not in, having a good time. Not a good time at all. Pulling out chunks of fur and everything. Ford F-150, Motor Max, Motor Max. I had another one that was a Motor Max. What was that? Hmm. Yes, Caprice. You're leaving us, Jesse? If so, have a great night. Yeah, I had another Motor Max. Oh, it's here somewhere. Another one of those old Chinese. I looked the car up. Somebody had mentioned it. I looked the car up and it was part of a five pack or a ten pack. I can't remember which. But anyhow. Another one of those. Reminds me of a Diablo. Like I said, it reminds me of one. <laughs> Do they? I had never heard of them before until I showed that one one car. God dang it! Now I want to find it. It's here somewhere. But yeah. <laughs> Blasphemy? Yeah. Yeah, I know. Right, let's save that one for a minute. Because I got There's a couple more. Another one of those Corvettes. Very long wheelbase, JP. Doors open on this one? Heck yeah. Doors open on this one. We're getting fancy now. Ah, because it's a yacht mini. Go. <laughs> I know, right, Chris? Yes, customs for days. Mm. All right, this is a Honda Acura NSX. AMC Pacer wanna be? Lord have mercy. And last up is a few little bits and well, there's two more. Last up is a few little bits. A wonky trailer. A car. Could be. <laughs> Rav Ford, huh? Got that. Got another one of those. Or whatever. 
these four brakes. Like I said, the top to the other thing with the two wheels I have no idea what they're for, but they stick to something, almost like a I don't know. Man, yeah, next up, another one of those their fancy Porsches or Porsche or Porsche, however you want to say it. And last but not least, another made in China. But definitely looks like one of those out they <laughs> slant those 911. Definitely looks like yes yeah, on crack. But like I said, you know, take some of these and swap out the wheels and make them look completely different. But some of them are like, uh Yeah. Porsche. Even though if you look go to the Porsche dealership or watch the Porsche warehouse in Germany, they say Porsche, not Porsche, not Porsche, Porsche. Again, look at those wheel-to-wheel -wheel -wheel gaps. Oh, my God. But actually a pretty nice little Audi casting. <laughs> All right, let's see how many we have, because I... We have the Porsche driving experience in Atlanta. They say it both ways here. There, yeah. Fiat. I, like I said, I watched the the videos from the that they put on from the museum and everything. They say they say Porsche over there. So there, let's take a guess. All right, there's two of you that's already guessed, Andre and and Jody. I'm gonna tell you now, you were low. So how many cars do you guys think that fit in this bad boy? I'm gonna keep some of them out as I put them back, but. So put in your guess now, how many do you think there was? Do you? I'm not into them. Nah, Chris, that's a little low, brother. I'm going to give some of you a little leniency because you weren't here for the beginning. Seems like everybody's in the 50 to 60 range. All right, well, I was watching F1, right? I, I can't go wrong there. You can't go wrong. So there's one, two, two and a half. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, yeah, <laughs> eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. <laughs> 22. 23, yeah, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, yes, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 
49, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, <coughs> 49, Andre's 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. We'll find 72 in a few minutes. Yeah, I know, right? <sighs> 73. 74. 75. 76. 77, 78, 79, 80, yeah, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, and 89, 90, and 91. So it looks like 91. Wow. Uh oh. Child abduction Amber Alert. Oh, now, yep, yeah, well, that's it. 91, yeah, Amber Alert, yep. Yeah. Some cool cars, like I said, I there's a few in here that I justified buying it for, like I said, the, for this one, that one, a couple of the Porsche castings. The Mustangs, and of course the and Earthquake, yeah. So, a few of those will be going up there. This time will stay in this. Like I said, I may, I'll, I know I will. Whenever I send Derek his car, I'll send a few of those Porsche his way. Yeah. He has a bunch of wheels in there. Yeah, I love those spam highway haulers. I love any truck like that. Absolutely any of them. And when I saw one, good night, uh, Pat. Hope you have a good one. Yeah, 3 a.m. does come early. But yeah, when I felt that one in, in the store, in the pack, I was like, oh man, that's, that's really cool. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad that I had those. Felt this one. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Jody. When I felt this, I was like, oh man, I love that. I just wish it wasn't quite that color in store when I was looking through the box. And then the other one was in there with it. So, good times. Later, Jody. I'm going to be getting off here too. I've been at this over an hour. It's time for dinner. Oh, my fall guy. It fell. Hold on. Let's see if it did any damage. I know where it went. Getting it's a different story. There it is. Oh. 
It survived, everybody. It survived. It survived. Didn't break anything. Didn't mash anything. It's all good. Yeah, I'm glad all of you... Yeah, Colt's okay. I think his nephew was driving at that time. <laughs> I'm glad you came, Chris. 22.30 in England. Nearly time for bed. Ha ha, yeah. Almost midnight there. Wow. Almost. Well, getting close. 22.30 is what, 10.30? I'm glad it survived. But anyhow, I, I'm going to get off here too. I greatly appreciate all of you coming. Uh, looking into my little madness. Like I said, I made the, I recorded the cars earlier and somehow lost the footage. That's just the way it is. That happens sometimes. So I figured I'd reopen it because I had forgotten. 11.30 in Belgium. And share it with y'all. I haven't done a live stream in a while. So, you know, I'm glad each of you could come. I greatly appreciate it, and until next time, we'll see you. This is for all you JDM guys. Take care. Thank you for coming.